All right. Unfortunately, that was not beer or vodka. No, Starfield is great. I just don't know how much more of the mental gymnastics I can handle. But now I'm in the presence of greater force, so I can't be under influence. If you hear AC in the background, that's because that's because there is an AC in the background. Right, let's load it up. My character is level 25 and I've just can't make this shit up, I swear to god. I've just been recently arrested, but not by my fault. I had to steal something from a guy, but because I stole something, I got bounty. Long story short, the space police has hired me by force to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. That's space pirates. Which is neat and all, but the space police has also taken away every stolen item in my inventory and I just so happened to steal majority of my math packs. Uh, well, that will be important later. <clears throat> anyway, the item I was forced to steal was this thing. I think it's broken. And now the story is on a turning point. Naturally, my first reaction was to fight the weird aliens off, which proved to be especially difficult for two reasons. One, Bethesda really wants you to run away from these things. Bro, what is this? Destiny 2? And two, After a couple of courageous attempts, I have humbly decided for what I personally find the coward's way and go gather the other part of Constellation. Right back at you. you picked them up one by one, except for the wife, which admittedly was the entire reason I even went here, but whatever. I don't think I can move right away. Have you really given it your 100%? I doubt it. Excuses. Coming back to the lodge, we find Garrett is sleeping. Get killed. Walk it off. Beside him, everyone seems to be just fine, which indicates that Barrett is just shit at stealing math packs. In the sewers, we are led to meet Smeagol. Stay back. But the stalker is not far behind. I wasn't expecting you. And once again, I have attempted the bullet diplomacy. But once Bethesda doesn't want you to win a fight, you ain't gonna win a fight. And what better way to flee than through a residential area? You can't run through the lodge because Todd is a sadist. You never know when you'll need a free hand. We finally make it to our ship, get off the planet, only to meet the man, the myth, the blood sponge once again. I have to admit, this has been interesting. And this time in his spaceship, where, as you might guess, he decides to fucking leave you alone finally. Brother just chased us to space because he's bored. You can even try to attack him in the dialogue, but it doesn't matter. Oh, With that out of the way and over my head, back at the station we totally, as a group, decided it will be safer to store the alien tech on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. This decision was made with a great forethought and understanding of the situation that the universe may be at stake in any moment and keeping this valuable cargo moving is the only good choice. And not at all because I just didn't feel like building an outpost and sinking 4 hours into the mental self abuse. While up here I also try to drag the wife along, but she's unfortunately still on cooldown. I'll need some time. As I mentioned at the beginning, I was recently recruited to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet, which at this point just seemed like a good way to relax. Anyway, in a good Bethesda fashion, we find a man who can help us get into a contact with the pirates, but only in exchange for doing a job. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Oh, and also before we even met him, we had to get his contact through her. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling with my middle finger. Yeah, try to untangle that. Job was easy enough. 
dude owes money to different dude, dude doesn't have the money, we pay for him, even though we could probably somehow make him pay, but at this point this is faster. Holy crap! You wanna see her flip out? <laughs> No, no, stop that. No way! I am not going to help you murder these people! The ability of having enough currency is met with absolute sense of accomplishment and furthering the objective. As soon as the ethical tangent is concluded, however, a new constellation mission unlocks. In other words, the wife light is green. Exactly. Hey. Traveling to Europa, now it's time to meet Astraea. They couldn't just call her Astra, could they? <laughs> You're funny. To make it quick and simple, she asked us to off a dude on a medical supply ship as an initiation, which we obviously can't do because, you know. No, no, you murder these people. I can't show Andreja how sick I really am, we are not technically married yet, so we talk our way out of this one. As always, the captain agrees to hide our mark away and we get back to Astra. We can strike his name from manifest, make it so he was never on board. She's being currently attacked by ecliptic ships, which were actually hired by the space police to give us a good cover. You should know we were the ones that hired ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Neatly wrapped, Bethesda. Well done.